Hey, hey guys, we are back for another video. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever we upload. Hit the thumbs up if you like the content and let me know as you always do what you all think in the comments. Now, <laughs> I had to jump on here. Just got done watching Love and Hip Hop Atlanta which I'll watch again because I was like distracted and I really didn't get the opportunity to watch it, watch it. So I always go back through it a few times. But the reason that I jumped on here because I just could not leave well enough alone. I'm like, uh, uh I cannot go to bed without doing this video. We're just going to talk about one thing. We'll talk about love and hip hop another day, but I just want to talk about one thing because Erica Mena called Spice a monkey. Yes, you heard what I said. Now, I heard that there was something that had happened that they were supposed to discuss her calling Spice a monkey, but I thought it was something that perhaps was not filmed and it was maybe some something that they overheard her say. But to hear this trick call a black woman a monkey that just spiked so much rage and i was like what because i was watching it but i wasn't so i was paying attention to some of it but when i saw the hurt the monkeys i'm like are you kidding me so what i would like to do is get into some of the episode to what actually sparked it I am actually looking for the clip. However, for some reason, they did not publish that clip, which was probably a good thing because I don't believe the public actually knew that it was captured on camera that she called her a monkey and she went on and on. It's not like she said it one time. She said it about three times. Well, this is also the thing, guys. I was doing some research. This is not the first time she's called somebody black a monkey. Um, well, let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. So let's go through this um, this audio, just a couple seconds of this audio, and then we're going to get into it. Happy that we are doing this. So what's going on? Be nice. Both girls, okay? Y'all got me in the midst. I feel like I'm sitting in between two demons. Nice. You know, one of the things that I love most about you was your whole career is based off of you going after your dreams, but more importantly, because of your children. You're a single mother. You've been doing this for, like, probably from the time you had them on your own, taking care of your own family. All of those things are why I relate to you so much. You know my situation. I know some of it. You know enough. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to think that I came to you with the drama that's, that's going on. I felt. I felt like it was a big moment for me. It was all about me celebrating, you know, the keys to the region. Right. And then, you know, you wanted to make it about something else and the safari and the drama. It has, it has, Not it has really, because me. from what I'm gathering and what was told to me, you received voice notes of safari saying that I was upset with the fact he felt some type of way about what was happening to you. Mm -hmm. Were you upset? No. Okay. I was actually upset what was happening to you, yeah. So much so that me and my friend, we fasted for two days. I didn't, you know, I prayed. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Now I got scared. You didn't sit up here and tell that big ass lies about you and see you and baby. The three mean girls, the fast was nice. I ain't gonna push nothing like that out my ass. I don't play with that. Was y'all all three in the same goddamn room fasting we was together? Every th for the, those three days, was we was three all together holding. Girl, y'all went fast, no face fast. No. Yes, the hell, bitch. You should try a fast. I know what fasting is. And I also know that her, Sierra, and Bamber ain't fast for mother spice. What made me think they were fasting for spice? Because if them bitch was fasting for that marriage, they'd still be married. Can the church say amen? Amen. Listen, Spice, when I told Safari what was going on with you, his reaction was, oh my God, I wouldn't know what would happen to me if something happens to Spice. And I said, well, damn, that was your wife pregnant. Almost lost my life and our baby. 
in a really dark time. I was in the hospital, which the whole world saw. Safari made it seem like he, quote unquote, started crying and I went ballistic about it. And that was nowhere near what happened. The problem is, is that you're believing somebody and not even hearing my side of the story. But why did you feel the need to compare us, though? Because at the time... Any you, woman you would have. And why? Why would you compare? Your friend, and Your he felt that wife. way. I was his wife. And he felt nothing. That don't have nothing to do with me if he felt nothing for you. Like, so it's just confusing. So like, why? Me, if you, you wear my shoes, you're telling me you wouldn't feel no type of way as a it, woman? What do you mean if I was in your shoes? In what if way? What you, do you mean? If, because if I feel you like your me. problem is, Erica, you feel like you're the first woman to be divorced. That's the problem. Really? I feel like you're acting like you're the first woman to be divorced, and you're the first woman that's left with two children to fend for. I've been doing it for 14 years. Welcome to the club. Girl, I've been doing it for nowhere. 16. Okay? 16. Okay, with 16 your son that don't like days. you. My son loves me. How do you know my about my son? Yeah, I'm always making it about you. Hey, how do you know about my son? You said I know about you. Right? right? Yeah. That's what you said. You started a conversation and say I know. officially disgrace in my book this woman was given a second chance at life by god and here she is choosing to use that second chance at life to come at me and my son it just speaks volumes on who she is once you cross the line and speak on my kids just know we will forever have beef Okay, guys, um, as I stated, um, that is the most craziest shit that I could even listen to. These ladies are co-workers. Now, the show is definitely centered around drama, but to call someone a monkey, which I counted two times, could have been three times. You're a monkey. You should have died something is wrong with this lady. And honestly, I think she needs to be off of this show. Um, I believe with her, um, for her to remain on the show, she definitely maybe needs to speak to someone because girl, you are in Atlanta, Georgia, and you calling people monkeys. You better do something safe because calling black people monkeys and you're in Georgia, you may want to go back to New York because you're in the wrong place. Um, the troubling part about this, um, people is if you, if you search up Erica Mena and I'll give you the information, I was just drained and just didn't feel like posting it, but, um, there's a video 
And the video is titled, let's see what it's titled. I just had it. Um, Erica Mena called a YouTuber by the name of um, Shaky. He reported two years ago um, that Erica Mena called him a gorilla and a monkey. Um, do you guys see the coincidence here? Um, everything we read and see on blogs is not always a lie. This girl is some kind of colorist slash racist. Um, sometimes people feel like, you know, when they have lighter skin, that there's something else. But the, you know, the troubling part about this is, girl, you have children by a Jamaican. Isn't he Jamaican? And you calling her a monkey. Um, so that's a problem. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I just needed to get this video out because I was like, you know, what is really going on? And then I get it. It's drama. The show is centered around drama. Um, but there's, you know, there's some lines that, you know, can't be crossed. And when you calling people monkeys, like that's just, you got like, that's way too far. Like you done jumped over the hill and rolled down and that's too far. That is definitely too far. And I was like, did this just, just call her a monkey? Like, girl, unbelievable. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will see y'all in the next video.